what is the point of me doing reaction videos? Now, I, I know that there's some videos that I don't understand. I get it. Whether it's cultural, whether it's, um, whether it's the time era that it was that it was first broadcast in whether it's a sport that I'm new to and don't understand so I get it I get when people say Whoa, why are you why are you reacting to this when you know nothing about it but that's partly the point that is partly the point I react to something whether I know about it or not now if I do know about something then it allows me to give my opinion from what I know when there's something I don't know about it's more it's more about the learning it's more about the learning side of things it means you guys can help me to explore something new now it's wow it's coming up a year it's coming up a year from starting the the uh, reaction channel and I'll admit I always admit when I first started it was something to do <laughs> that's that's all it was we were in lockdown and it was something to do however when I started learning about rugby and I are uh, be vague because I I mean both rugby union and league it brought something new that I didn't properly understand now rugby's big in our country but from school god I hated rugby mainly because I was the smallest the smallest kid got completely flattened, put me off. But by reacting to something I didn't know about, it has allowed me to love the sport. I love Union and I love League and I am watching it almost every weekend now. Uh, I now follow London Irish, but as I said, I'm absolutely loving learning about the sport and that's what it's about. Then when it comes to Australia, as you all know if you follow my channel, um, hang on, it's wet and it's horrible. Um, now that I'm learning about Australia, and I, and I stress the learning, we didn't learn about Australia in school. It wasn't something we even spoke about. Um, so although we are so similar because of obviously British colonization, we're also so different. And there's things that I don't understand. As I said, they may be cultural, they may be a time of an era that I wasn't around in. But by me not understanding something and me not necessarily enjoying something, it allows for me to learn and discover more. Understand what makes you find things funny, which that is now the reason I do this. It's, it's not necessarily for views, although of course it helps. Um, it's not for subscribers. There are other YouTubers doing similar-ish things who are getting more subscribers than me. It's not about that. It's, it's about me learning. And a prime example, a prime example, how many reaction channels have you seen? And I, and I know there are ones that cover similar <laughs> similar um, similar subjects and, and you'll know what I'm talking about but me and Charlie oh god it's muddy um, me and Charlie have made things we made lamingtons we made Anzac biscuits um, we are trying to embrace and actually making things for ourselves which we are loving those Anzac biscuits did not last they really did not last. So, the question is, why do I do reaction videos? That was the main point. Hopefully I've discussed most of it, but we are learning. I am learning. I am trying to embrace everything. Whether or not I enjoy something is another matter. However, I'm not one to brown nose. I think is the polite way of putting it. I'm not here to brown nose. If I don't like something, I don't like something. If I do like something, I will let you know I like something. Um, I'm not pretending. But when, if I don't understand something, 
I want you guys to help me out, which you may, you mostly do, you mostly do. Um, so yeah, I'm loving the learning. Um, I'm loving trying new things. That's that's why I have a reaction channel. So thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to dislike, if you completely disagree with everything I've said, feel free to dislike. I, I, it doesn't bother me. I'll catch you next time.